Yeah, Evan, this morning, the House Speaker Charles McCall echoed a message we've heard from the governor several times in the past few weeks that tax cuts could give Oklahomans real inflation relief right now. But with the Senate having gone home on Monday, they're not in session right now, and these tax cut bills have stalled at the state capitol. There are people struggling to pay their utility bills. There are people struggling to afford the basic necessities and the least amount of relief that we can give, they can use it. Charles McCall defending his bill before House lawmakers Wednesday morning at the state capitol. The bill, part of a special session the governor said was meant to give Oklahomans tax relief. They want more of your money. They want to hoard more of your money. They want to control more of your money. Because let's be clear, there are those in this building they don't view it as your money. The bill, as it is currently written, cuts the state's income tax by a quarter of a percent. Median earners who make around $61,000 a year would save about $150 yearly. All of the House's 20 Democrats voted no this morning, doubting the benefits are there. Everyday folks have not benefited. When you cut taxes, you cut services. Mr. Speaker, cutting a personal income tax is not going to bring back a tire plant in Ardmore. It's not going to win us a deal with Panasonic or Tesla or Volkswagen because if it did, we would have. And we did not. Now, the Senate says they are willing to revisit this topic once the latest financial numbers for the state come out in mid-February. So these tax cut bills aren't dead, but don't expect progress anytime soon.